to net for the heartless End of the show, man, we're closing the curtains I'm working for me, but I'm living for nothing and Nothing has changed, nothing has changed, it's all the same and Nothing has changed, nothing has changed, we're catching a wave So, uh, yeah, we're gonna go shoot that music video today along again some pictures and I'm gonna show you guys as well how I shoot uh, a rap music video in this sort of specific look because when you're doing this VHS look it needs to like you need to have like a specific kind of camera movement and all that kind of stuff so we're gonna be doing that I'm gonna be rocking with two things the uh, Sigma 17 to 17 millimeter f 2.8 to 4.5 and my Sony A7S with a 10 to 18 millimeter f 4.0 to 5.6 lens. I think that's correct. Now the reason why I'm using the Sony A7S for this with no stabilizer or anything is because it's very light and it's very shaky when it's handheld. Which for this style of video is something that you want. You want the shakiness a little bit. That's a bit of a tip already, but you want a bit of the shakiness because VHS style um, kind of recordings, if you notice, Every, every single VHS recording is quite shaky. So, to get that old school look, first of all, you need a light camera and then you need it to be quite like kind of shaky. And uh, that's why I'm going quite light with the lenses as well. So, sticking mostly to this one though. Here's a little tip for you guys for music videos get your performance shots done first. Those are the most important ones because if you get Ah, oh, my arms hurt. Because if you get like, ten, let's say 10 performance shots max, right, and then you can't get your cutaway shots, you can actually get an entire music video with just those performance shots. Okay. All right, first and foremost, I'm gonna get some food. Ryan's brother works here. Sizzle, sizzle, man, sizzle, sizzle. Where's the salad? <laughs> I love how you just get rid of the salad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, stringy cheese. So this is the location here. It's very, I don't know, I just love, I love this, this area. So we're going to do the majority of the shoot here. We are going to go to other places, but I'm not going to video all those places. So I just want to show you guys exactly how I do all the shots and stuff. And uh, yeah. Should we take some shelter under here for a bit? Okay, let's talk about camera techniques. The rain's actually gotten a lot heavier. There's a few different ways, right, handheld-wise, to get different types of shots. You have this one, where it's like, like that. You twist it and you turn it. I fucking hate that, so I just never, ever do that. It's quite American, like, I, I don't fuck with that um, camera movement. What I like to do for me is to add more energy to the video you're, you you kind of want to go like, let, pretend there's a box, right? So, like that. So you're doing it in a box kind of thing, right? So you kind of want to go like, like that. So let's say, pretend there's like a, like a, an, an imaginary box and the lens is following the outline of the box. So you kind of want to go like, like that, you know? So you're kind of covering the, the entire box, but not like box, box. So you're kind of going backwards and forward, back and forth, back and forth like that. But you want to do it in like, kind of static, hmm. kind of movement like that. So the dudes, but now I'm looking down on the both my shoes. It used to be a problem, what's up with you? Now you just get problems and emotions that you're working through. And that adds a lot of energy to the, uh, to the, uh, to the shot, especially when the song is quite an energetic song. Now for this song, because it's quite old school and we're going for VHS style, VHS video in general is quite a shaky kind of, um, kind of moving if you ever see VHS video stuff it's always quite shaky it's never like perfect that's what you want that's very very old school so even stuff like where you're recording and then you just go like like that so like you know you see with my knees like if you look at my knees so you're gonna go like see if Ryan's there right you're gonna go like like that you're gonna do that and then up down like that a little bit not too crazy but enough so that it's believable and it's not over exaggerated
Good take. That's what we want. For this music video, I'm pretty sure you could tell from the way I was filming. It's kind of everywhere, so it's not like one place and it's perfectly, you know, filmed and focused and stuff. This video, we're going for a very raw and like, I guess, I mean, I don't know if I'd call it amateur, but just like a really raw, authentic, old school video, right? So there's a lot of like, you know, trying to get the focus uh, right. So it's like a lot of out of focus, out of focus, in focus, out of focus. And that's just the vibe of this video. So you see with your music videos, you want to try and go for something like that, something completely different. You don't want every single shot to be absolutely perfect. You want the shots where you're moving, you're, you're panning like that up and down. So maybe you're at the trees, you pan down to like the, the, the face or like, you know, you're getting the hand movements and then boom, straight away back up to his face, you know, and then like pull, pull focus, pull out of focus, but not like a slow pull focus, it's like a, quite a fast, Focus. Catching the wind. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. So the same. So the same. So we're gonna do an outtake shot now. So for the outtakes, I'm filming at 120 frames per second. Holy shit! The reason why I'm filming at 120 frames per second is because I don't have a fly cam with me or a steady cam or a shoulder rig or anything. So what I'm gonna do is for this shot to get it really, really steady. So first and foremost, 120 frames per second. That's what I'm filming on for this shot. Also, get this, right? And what you're gonna do is, you're gonna use it with your neck and you're actually gonna use this as a stabilizer. Now, one foot here, right in the front and then one foot in the back. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna go like this and then very slowly, very slowly, you're just gonna move forward like that. Change so same. And the slower you go, the more steadier it is. When you make that extremely slow, it gets even more smooth. We're gonna go down now uh, for a couple more locations. Same drug, but we got the same bows with the same ups. Yeah, we got the same growth. Who's really working? Who's really working? Who's really grafting? I'm doing that bottle of this show. My work goes to the curtains. I'm working for me, but I'm working for nothing. Ah, done. So, I used to live up there on Dorchester Avenue. I don't want to say any addresses and that because people live here, but uh, a couple of years ago was a murder. Some guy basically took a girl home from a club in Glasgow and he lived right across there in that coast there and uh, yeah basically killed the girl, dumped her on a farm and I had to get interviewed by the police. How did he murder her though? What did he do? I don't did actually know. He, he chopped her up. Yeah no he did yeah he chopped her up. He chopped her up into pieces and then he dumped her, in dumped her in a farm yeah. Yeah in barrels in a farm. Yep Pretty and uh, he lived right, right there. there. Little update on what we're doing. We've got some more shots, looking pretty good. We're just getting some pictures on our way to the final spot to do the music video. And this spot here is, I think, where we're gonna get the main shots. Because uh, the ones back there, I don't really know if we're gonna, I'm not sure if we're gonna use them or not for the final take. But, um, well, we'll, find, we'll, we'll see anyways. I got a few questions about the speaker that I use when I do music videos. So I use a Jam Classic speaker. This thing's like 10, 20 pounds. It does the job, it's a Bluetooth speaker, which is pretty good, although, I mean, for only a certain distance, because once you go far away, like your phone, if it's too far away from the speaker, it starts to disconnect. So what I usually have the rappers do is put the speaker in their pockets, put my phone in their pockets as well, so that wherever they go, it'll never get disconnected. So what I've started doing in this shoot, which I'm gonna do for the next shoot in terms of shots, is I get the camera like that and I go hard pan. So Ryan will be here and then he'll go hard pan and then he's gonna be there and then zoom in and it looks pretty damn cool. We are here at the last spot now. It has stopped raining Thank for God. don't know how long. So we're gonna get the shot get some pictures and then bounce. And then what I'm probably gonna do is I'm gonna do another video where I show you how I edit this video because this is VHS style. So I'm gonna show you how you can get a VHS style without actually needing a plug-in. You can just use 
all the stuff that you have in Final Cut Pro. So, last, last shot we're doing is actually the intro shot because I found a really cool spot. So what we're gonna do is, Ryan is gonna be walking towards me and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replicate a crane shot. So what the, the benefits of doing a crane shot using a strap is that you can actually pull focus so because if it's on a stabilizer, you obviously can't like, you know, use the pull focus while you're stabilizing it because you need both hands for the stabilizer. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna have your hand like this, there, and you're gonna have this hand here. You're going to pull on the strap, right? Just so that it's locked in place. So your knees are gonna go down like this, and then what you're gonna do is slowly, you're gonna come up, and while you're coming up, you're gonna be pulling focus while Ryan's walking towards me. Once you've reached full leg-wise, you're just gonna bring your hands up like that, still pulling focus until he's walked towards you, until you know you're happy with the shot. Then you end it. Do that a few times and then you get used to it and then the shot's gonna end up looking like this. That is us done. Just gotta show you the state of my shoes real quick. Now ain't that just disgusting. Please subscribe, follow me on Instagram guys. Check out the video, the music video as well, linked below. It's been out already, because obviously I've filmed this, you know, I've released a video and whatever. So uh, yeah, watch the video. Let me know uh, if you enjoy it. Let me know if you enjoy this vlog. <sighs> yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Once again, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Follow me on Instagram. I love you. I want to be famous. Bye.